A procession for Sergeant Greg Moore, who was killed on Tuesday, began this morning here in Spokane, and many people turned out to pay their respects. KXY 4's John Hendricks joins us now, and John, this was uh, quite emotional for a lot of people. Nadine, people lined the streets holding the American flag. They waited, then watched with heavy hearts as Sergeant Moore began his journey home. Sergeant Greg Moore will never know the lives that he's touched. The young and old lining the streets as he returned to Coeur d'Alene. Just showing my respects, Sergeant Moore. Among that crowd, Cody Kinder and his daughter Lexi. It's personal for him. He's a retired Marine and Iraq War vet. Most of us don't understand how much stress they go through every day. I mean, they have to wake up, put their shoes on, leave their family, and take that gamble and not knowing whether or not they're going to come home. Sadly, Moore won't be home to greet his wife and kids tonight. Instead, his body escorted back home to where his family will say their final goodbye. So every time something happens to another officer, it affects all of us. In today's procession, Spokane Police Lieutenant J.D. Anderson. It's real important to all of us that we help show our support. Uh, we treat each other like family. It would be no different than losing a loved one. Unfortunately, this isn't the first time he's made that ride. His partner in Pierce County killed in the line of duty. It makes you tear up as you're riding. Uh, you see all the support for the community, and no matter how many times we've had something may negative may have come out of a uh, situation, it turns the positive on. It shows that people really do support us out here. With hundreds lining the streets from Spokane to Coeur d'Alene, it's apparent Sergeant Moore's life is one that touched so many, one that ended far too soon. It's heartbreaking to, to know that that type of guy had, was taken away from us. Now, we did learn today that Sergeant Moore will be recognized next week here in Spokane at the Spokane Law Enforcement Memorial Ceremony. Reporting in studio tonight, John Hendricks, KXLY 4 News.